Hello. Uh, bit of a weird one this one. I've, I've connected you to my uh, stand. Uh, apologies for the noise that's about to start because I'm going to be 3D printing some stuff. Um, but yes, what I wanted to do is just a quick video um, because one thing that annoys me a lot about my case for my Prime 4 is the fact that I can't take my deck saver with me. So it's handy because if I leave uh, the stuff alone, maybe if I'm, I'm waiting for something and I want to keep it protected, then what I need to do is I need to put the deck saver on it so it stops anyone from messing about with it or uh, if someone accidentally spills a drink on it, this is hurting my back and my neck, um, then I can, you know, pretty much protect it. <clears throat> My face looks really smooth. I think there's some sort of filter going on there. That's freaky. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the case that I've got. Now, there's only like a, a few bits around it here, I think, that need modifying. Um, <clears throat> I may need to modify the top, but I'll see once I've got it done. Because all I need to do is I just need to carve a little bit around. So I've got my deck saver right here and you see the problem that i have oh, forgive me uh <laughs> apple there the problem that i have is if i put it on there you see it doesn't quite fit it doesn't go down so it's not actually protecting the screen at all and it doesn't go it doesn't push in so it's not laying flush against it like it should do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure how wide it is and how deep down it needs to go and i'm going to cut that out of the foam now there should be enough foam for the rest of it. There should be enough foam for the rest of it to hold it nice and securely. And then when I've got the, the deck saver in, that will also hold it nice and securely. The only thing I'm worried about is if I get it wrong and I cock it all up, then we've got some problems, haven't we? Uh, right, so let's get to measuring and cutting with a razor blade, perhaps. We'll see. Let's go. So the deck saver then, I've got I did have a pair of calipers. I don't know. Moving stuff around, you see, that's the problem. So let's just see on my calipers the width of it. I'm measuring that as two millimeters thick. Okay, so we've got two millimeters there. Let's just check the middle part again. Just to make sure that is also two millimeters. Yeah, it should be the same all the way around, I think. Yeah. So same there, let's just check the sides. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm just basically getting a pair of calipers, sticking it on and just pushing it so that it's gripping it. Two mil, yep, yep, two mil there. And then, I've got this bit here. Oh, two mil there, okay. All right, so we're looking at two mil, two mil all around, but then how deep does this thing have to go? So I'm assuming, let me see, if I put it on, here that's going to go yeah it's going to go that far down so because this bit's going to be sitting flush so it's going to go be going down about what what have we got here 13 millimeters okay so i want two millimeters wide so i'm going to set my calipers to two millimeters wide and i'm just going to what i'm doing is i'm setting it to two mils wide i don't know if you can see that on there about two mil wide and i'm just tightening that so that it's quite thin so we've got a pincer here and then <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to scribe let me just grab you here I'm going to take the take the thing and I'm just going to scribe a line so put one edge right up against it and just scribe a line it's probably going to be easier if I remove the prime from the case. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to scribe all along and then I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to set it to 13 millimeters wide and do it along the inside. Can you see? Along the inside of the case there. Not on this bit because I don't need to, but on these bits here. Okay, and we're going to see if then that, when it's carved out, will sit my deck saver in nicely. So let's give that a try now. Worst thing happens, I mess up the case. I hope I don't mess up the case. Let's see what happened. My hair is just flopping everywhere now. It's so hot in here. Okay, well, I've done some carving. It's not the neatest job. Some of it's quite nice. See, that's when I got a nice straight edge. You can see the little lip there. It's about two millimeters deep. Uh, I did cut a little bit deeper at one point, um, but never mind. 
<coughs> corners are not so done. So that's that side. I've already done this side as well. As you can see, there's a little bit there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pop the prime back in the case properly. Pop it, pop it in properly. There's a lot of P's in that sentence. And then see if I can fit the uh, deck saver on. So let's do a live test, shall we? Here we go. <clears throat> Righty ho, there we go. You're up there now. Let's move the prime back into position. God, I've got so much going on here. Don't catch any wires, you idiot. Okay, right. Let's plonk it where it's supposed to go. In there. In you go, all the way in. Nice. We've got a slightly bigger gap on this side than we have on this side. But fingers crossed we're okay and we haven't overdone it. Right, where's my deck saver? Here we go. <coughs> deck saver time. Now before this would not fit on there properly. Let's push it down the sides, push it down the edges, push it sitting flush all the way round. Yep, cool. Now we do have a problem actually, because the lid of the case has got a foam block on it. Now I know that foam block is not going to sit very nicely on there to protect the screen. Also, foam block is in wrong position. Luckily, foam block is on. Ah. <laughs> right, so that means we can reposition it anyway. Let's flick this up, put it in here on that side, stick it in there, and yes, we can see now that foam block is approximately how much and I can't see what the reading is because I've got it facing the wrong way. We are off by approximately 17 millimeters. So whilst it does fit on there I can't close the case because we need another 17 millimeters to be taken off of that block. Which I suppose kind of makes sense because this block is actually up off the screen by about that much because it's got to be <clears throat> some of the height of that, isn't it? Does this go down any further? No, because that's touching there and touching there. Yeah, it's actually sitting perfectly along all sides and that is actually in there quite snugly as well. I mean, to lift it off is a bit of a chore but we can get it off and we can put it back in it holds in nicely so I think yeah I got it just right so the question the question is now do I cut that foam block down so that I can put it so it's pressing against there or do I just say ah forget it leave the foam block off and see if it fits properly without it I'm going to try that first actually that makes more sense, doesn't it? Do I need to cut anything off the top foam padding to get this to fit in? The answer to that is yes. I also need to do the same with the top. So I'm going to do that now. Here we go. This is a long video than I, longer video than I anticipated. Hello again. It's really awkward, this is. So, I've done the interior of here. It's not perfect, but... I've basically done 1.7 down and two millimeters across again, so it should be able to fit on the deck saver. Let's take that now, <coughs> flipping this over. Now I've done it along the whole length because I'm not sure which way around I'm gonna end up putting this. Let's pop that on there. Trying not to, oh, yeah, it's gonna be awkward, isn't it? Because I've got things tangled. I think what I might do eventually is, uh, balls, I might put uh, holes in it just for uh, ease of doing stuff. Right, let's put this on here like that, on the front there, on the front there. Okay, it's almost, is it actually catching on anything or is it literally just that? Okay, it will go in, but I think, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, it is, uh, <laughs> it, 
Houston, we have a problem. Uh, there. <laughs> it's stuck in the lid. So, alright, that side's fine. But it needs a little bit more on the other side. Ah, I see. I see why. Yeah, I get it. So, what it needs is an extra bit here and the same on the other side. Because what happens is it goes a little bit further in like that and then then Need an electric bread knife for this. A bit wonky, but that should be okay. And same on the other side where it was catching as well. Let's take this off. We at least know that that stayed on there. Now, I know it's not going to go on perfectly because I've still got all the cables on, but it should go mostly, I think. Uh, if I could pull the cables around the front, that would be even better, but never mind. Okay, so we know then that this will now fit on my Dan DJ Prime 4 in a most nice fashion. Most nice fashion. Jesus. Where did I learn English? Uh, and then we get the pad for that. Nice, pop that there. Right, here we go then. We're going to try and pop this on once more and see if it doesn't get stuck in the lid again. Let's get those lined up there. Okay, is that not going down because it's caught on a cable? I think so. Yep, I think I've got it, because the front is sitting nice and flat. Okay, the, okay, the front is sitting nice and flush. The back is not, mainly because of the cables uh, being plugged in. So they're stopping the case from closing completely, but everywhere else it feels like a really nice fit. So I think if I try and take this off, it shouldn't stick into the lid now, but it should stay on the Prime. So we're going to give that a shot. Here we go. Wasn't expecting that to stay. <clears throat> so yeah, there we go. So I modified the flight case so I can now have my uh, deck saver on there for when I go to a gig and I haven't got to carry the deck saver separate, which is nice. Um, so that yeah, basically means I can protect my decks a little bit better. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. There should be some more gig logs, hopefully soon. And uh, yeah, until the next time, until the next video, catch you later. Bye-bye.